But the reason is, is Micah Thomas and his team are headed to um, the first round of, what did I call them? Playoffs. Playoffs. That's the word. Playoffs. Soccer playoffs. And so, Jason and I are going to leave about 2.30 to head to watch Micah play, and we thought we better go live. So, when you come on, please tell us hello. Tell us how you're doing today. Tell us where you're from. We are live here on Facebook and over on YouTube today. So... I am so excited about this fun little arrangement that we're going to make. If you can hear me here on Facebook, if you would give me a thumbs up or a heart, um, that would be so appreciated. I just always worry when we don't have the mic plugged in, making sure you can hear me. Um, so Victoria's here with me. So if you have any questions, y'all talk to me. It's so much more fun to, um, to talk and design at the same time. It really just makes everything more fun. Um, so I'm going to start out with this vase. This is a vase I really like it. It's really kind of a rectangle um, vase. We actually got this um, in a group of vases that were brought to us as a um, recycled um, lot. And so we always love getting fun, interesting vases. We have filled this vase with fresh water and added some fresh floral food to it. And we're gonna start out with a little bit of greenery. So I've got three different types of greenery. Now, Victoria, they said that Parfolia eucalyptus has a, another letter in it. What? Am, how did I not par, say? It? Par, is it Parvifolia? Parvifolia. Parvifolia. I'll try to say that correctly. I'm not going to ever say it correctly. But so I'm going to start out with some leather leaf um, fern. I'm going to use my floral knife, and this is my favorite tool um, in the floral industry is a knife because it's something that I can hold and I never really have to put it down during designing. It just makes me a more efficient designer. So if you have never used a floral knife, y'all try it, practice using a knife, you'll fall in love. If you ever get to where you use it all the time, you'll never go back to snips because they're almost cumbersome. I'm gonna take my floral knife and I'm going to cut that greenery, that stem at an angle and tuck that right in. I think there's some, Owen. Hello. Hey, yeah, give us just a second. Okay, hey, good. Angel Christian with Hi, how's it going? Oh, and it's right there on the counter. It should say North Montgomery. It's got a little pink, um, a little pink sticky note. Um, Janice Smith says, Hello, Monty and Victoria. Happy birthday to me, 61 today. Happy birthday to you, friend. Happy, happy birthday. Um, Miss Marianne Covert says, YouTube video looks like ready to go for Valentine's Day. We're trying. We're trying to get ready. Um, Robbie and Maggie are back there. Um, they have pulled some vases. They're filling them with water, and they're starting to add greenery to those. So we can get those prepped and ready. Okay, so I have just added some leather leaf foliage to this container. Um, and next we are going to come in with some Israeli Ruscus. So Ruscus comes in two different varieties. It comes in Israeli and Italian Ruscus. Most often, you are going to see us work with Israeli. It's less expensive. Um, Italian I usually use for like wedding work and fancier work. Israeli is just fun greenery. And here at our shop, you can do three stems of Israeli Ruscus for a dollar. So to me, you get a lot of a lot for your money. So I'm just going to take these stems, cut them at an angle, and nestle those right down into this vase. Um, Kristen Weaver says, hey crew, I hope all is well over there. We are running at the park. It's so pretty today. Hey, sweet friend. Kiss my baby for me. Okay, so there's some Israeli Ruscus. It's just kind of giving us a different texture. Um, on YouTube, we have a few hearts. Hello guys over here on YouTube. I'm so glad you're here. I know we're early, but I'm glad you're here. Irene Rover says, wow, she's caught the live. Yay! Um, Donna Coker says she greened out her vases on Saturday. Awesome, awesome Donna. Yeah, we're a little behind. <laughs> we were a little behind. You know, it's one of those things where 
It's hard to get get it all together, isn't it? It's not easy. It's um, a rough holiday. Miss Margaret wishes y'all a good football match, win or lose. It's about having fun and taking part. That's right, Miss Margaret. And this boy of mine loves it. He loves it. That's all he thinks about is that soccer. And he loves it. And I'm so thankful. Okay, so let me show you the flowers that Miss Victoria picked out. So this arrangement is a $55 arrangement. It is for a retirement. And we've actually sent her a couple other arrangements. So Victoria was sure to pull flowers that we have not sent her already. So we've got some mini green hydrangeas. So a mini green hydrangea is actually the bud state of a white hydrangea. It's just the smaller little bud state. Um, it just hasn't opened all the way up. So I'm removing that foliage and I know often I tell you leave the foliage on. It's not usually that I tell you to leave it on a hydrangea and it is because a hydrangea wants so much water that if you will remove the greenery from it, the water will go straight to the head and not to the foliage. So I am taking, I have this tiny little vase filled with quick dip. I took my stem and I dipped that right down into the quick dip. I'm just gonna nestle him kind of down low. And I have two of those, yes ma'am. Anna Meyer says, hello ladies, it's warm and not snowing. In fact, the grass is green here in Des Moines, Iowa. Wow! Um, she says, just finally starting to feel better, and she asks for continued prayers for her friend Ron, who has cancer. Yes, ma'am. We certainly will continue to pray, and I'm so glad you're feeling better, and I know that sunshine helps. <laughs> Isn't it something about sunshine that helps you feel better, and that you can see the green grass? I know that's a blessing. So these two little green mini hydrangeas, we tucked those in. And he's going to lean for a second, but he will stand up in a minute. Okay. Uh, Rhea Norman says, you're early today. I had to check the time as I thought I'd forgotten to feed the family. No, no, no. It, it was not you, my friend. I was just saying that um, our Micah, Thomas, has to play. He's going to play soccer this afternoon. And it's in Hernando, Mississippi. And so we have to leave the flower shop at 2.30 today. And I wasn't going to be able to go live at 4.00. So, I tried to post early this morning to let you know that we would um, be going live a little early. So, surprise, Rhea. <laughs> surprise, my friend. Okay, so I do not know the variety of these roses, but they're really pretty, almost a coral color. And it has, it's really kind of a coral tip with a creamy colored um, petal. Um, Sue Adams, there's, these are a few from earlier that I missed. She says, headed to my grandson's second round soccer playoff today also. Yay! Um, Terry Jones says, hi, we're getting ready for Valentine's at, at my shop here in Conroe, Texas. Oh, are we getting ready? I'm so glad. It's one of those things where the more we can get done now, the better off we are later, right? I got home probably about 5.30 yesterday, and I thought... I could really go back to the flower shop. <laughs> I finished cooking. I sat on the couch and I did not come back. But I was here early this morning trying to get my mind's just running, running. This time of year makes my, my mind run. Okay, so I wired my three little roses. So I have three pretty roses. If you know the variety of these, let me know. Um, it's a coral tip with kind of a creamy colored um, petal. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna add my delphinium first. I have two stems of blue delphinium. So I'm gonna add these for height. Um, Carter Holland says, yippee, I caught y'all live. Hey, Monty and Victoria, hope your son wins his soccer game. Thank today. you, Carter, thank you so much. So I'm taking these stems and cutting them at an angle. Um, Donna Coker on YouTube asks, do people in Mississippi count by a different state? In South Carolina, we count Mississippis. Like one Mississippi. We town. count by Mississippis too. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? I wonder why you count. I guess Mississippi takes that one second to say. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. I just remember being like in You thought we were just special. And... You just thought that's how you counted, yeah, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. Me too. Oh, I just broke his head. 
I'm going to have to go get a new one. Man, that's no fun. Um, Joan Arthur says, please pray for my sister, Mary Beth, who started radiation today. Oh, I sure will, Miss Joan. I sure will. I'm going to have to go get another rose in just a second. So these are called Aragon Disc Buds. They are just kind of a purple, beautiful plum colored um, mom. John Miller says, I just cleaned my craft sewing room and I'm not allowed to go back in there for a while, LOL. Well, John Miller, you keep buying ribbon. You're gonna have so much ribbon in there. You're gonna have um, a beautiful ribbon room. But we appreciate you keep buying ribbon. <laughs> We appreciate you buying ribbon, Miss Dawn. So this is status, and you don't see me work with status very often, and I'm not really sure why. I think a lot of times status comes in such a large, um, ver it comes in a really large bulk box. We get a lot of it when we order it, and so it's hard to get it all used before it goes bad. It has a tendency to not have quite as long of a shelf life as like Solidago. I don't know why, but it's beautiful, and so I like to order it when we have a big holiday because we're able to use a lot more um, filler flower, and so the status is so pretty and fun to use. So we've been using it a lot. Hey, Robbie, yes, will you stick your head in here? I need to show you this rose. I just broke his little head. Um, Roger and Melissa Bryant said... Can you grab me one more of these, mm -hmm. please, ma'am? Um, they said, I saw a tutorial the other day where they smashed the end of the stems. Have you ever heard of that? I have seen it done, but it was never taught in school. Um, and I've even seen where a lady had, like, boiling water. She would crush the stem, and she would put the stem in boiling water, which was never taught in school, and so I thought, oh, I don't know why in the world you boil a stem, but it seems to be, thank you, Robbie, thank you. It looks like it works, but I have never done it. Um, Bobby McRaney asks, asks if you ever have used plumosa or asparagus springery greenery? Springery. 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 Green. I have used it, but it has thorns and it bites. <laughs> and I really don't like things that bite. Those little thorns can get in your skin and it hurts so badly. Now, it is beautiful and we have used it for like larger arrangements and such. But when it bites, that's no fun to me. Um, on YouTube, Victoria McCloskey says, peel the stems like a carrot. Peel the stems of which flower? The hydrangea, I wonder. Oh, like with thorns? Oh, is that? Mm -mm. I wouldn't think so. Um, Bell's Bliss Design says, hello, are you guys having the calm before the storm? I had four funerals <laughs> last week, two beauty patterns and a military ball, and she decorated the arch for the beauty pattern. Have mercy. <laughs> yes, that's what always happens. No, mine's really, my crazy, yes, this is the calm before the storm. My crazy is fixing to happen even after the holiday. We have the biggest party um, that we've had in years, like huge party, and it's two days after Valentine's Day, so that's got me a little over overwhelmed. Um, which, I mean, we can get it done. It's not that we can't get it done. It's just overwhelming. Victoria was talking about the status. Status. Well, the stems like a carrot. And it will help keep them fresh. So what, I've, uh, what I have problems with, with the status, is it molds. It kind of gets, you know, that little hairy mold on it um, if you leave it in the cooler for too long. Is is that common for others? And it may be that I have it packed too tight. Maybe I should put it in separate um, in separate boxes or in separate buckets. But I may have it packed too tight. Okay, so here is our fun little arrangement. It's got um, some green hydrangeas, a couple of the argon mums. It has those beautiful roses, delphinium status. Okay, here's the fun part of this arrangement. So, this is for a retirement of a little lady who works at a dental office. So, we have some generic toothpaste. We have a fun red toothbrush, some scope, and some dental floss. So, we are going to attach these fun little dental products.
into the arrangement. So what I'm going to do, they're fairly light. They're not very, very heavy. I'm going to take it just a skewer, like a barbecue skewer that you would, um, that you would put chicken on to put on the grill or what have you. I'm going to take it and I have, you know what, I should go get that packing tape. I bet that would hold way better than this little thin tape. Give me two seconds, I'm gonna grab some packing tape. You have a lot of questions, Monty. I've got some right in here that has that. I'm coming to This one has a little tear of offer. We have a few questions. Yes, yes. Statements. Um, Victoria said that bacteria builds in the little folds of the, st of the status stem. And so it causes so it to get, it. um, oh, I may try that. Thank you. Um, Kimmy Riley says you've inspired her to go to floor school. Wow, fantastic. Um, Carlotta has a question about hydrangeas. How long do they stay good if you don't have a cooler to keep them in? She says she has a, them in water in a cool garage. Um, it is all about the hydration on your hydrangeas. That's the main thing, is it's about the hydration. Um, and it depends on how cool is your garage. Um, if you can kind of figure out your temperature, the happiest um, that flowers are is usually, I think we keep our cooler, is it 36 to 40? Is that right? Somewhere in there, like 36 to 40 is their happy um, happy temperature. So I just took that packing tape, so I just have regular packing tape, and I just taped this little guy right onto the back of, um, of this scope. And we're gonna tuck him in just as if he's a little flower. Um, Carolyn Lane asks if Micah Thomas wants to play college soccer, keep on the great support for him and his team. Um, we will, I suppose she, it didn't finish, but I suppose she says that they'll miss you this afternoon. Yes, Micah is, um, he has, um, signed to play for junior college. He is going to go to Itawamba Community College, which is North Mississippi, and he is going to play soccer there in the fall, and he is excited. We are excited, and we're, we're really excited that he's pretty close to us so that we're able to travel and watch him. So yes, he's very excited to continue playing, and he wants to go as far in soccer as he can go, so that's even more exciting. Um, Elsie Powers says, hello friends, um, Monty, I tried watching your live yesterday and three times it said the video has ended, so I thought maybe um, it was something on our end. She just said that she I'm not had sure. To That's strange. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, the um, Anita Cruz on so YouTube. Just, this is actually called, I'm sorry, just, no, no, no. this is actually called a high scent steak. It's a little longer. It's a green steak. We actually, I think we got them when another flower shop went out of business. So it's just a longer steak just to stick this a little higher in my arrangement. Um, Anita Cruz asked, where can I order my fresh and or artificial flowers? So, where we order our fresh flowers is from a company called Budsy. Um, and if you're interested, I am happy to give you um, Donna's information so that you can contact her. Um, as for silk flowers, we order silk flowers from several different places. Um, we've ordered, it depends on the variety of silks that you're looking for. If you want fancier, prettier, home interior silk flowers, or if you're wanting um, more cemetery grade flowers. Um, I've got several places that um, I can suggest for that. Tremont Floral, um, Direct Floral has some pretty silks. Um, Legs Manufacturing has um, really nice cemetery grade silks. So contact me and I'll be happy to give you um, some links and a phone number. Chris Rye says he he owns a flower farm and he um, said you Ooh, should dry wee. the status. Dry the status. So tell me what's the best way, Chris, to dry the status because I don't want to lose it. And where is Chris's um, farm located? Um, I don't remember. Just tell us, Chris, because I, I don't remember. He's watched us for years. Yeah, Chris, so. we would love to know more information about your flower farm. Okay, so all I did, guys, was I just taped one of those skewers right to the back. This is just dental floss. This is just 
inexpensive toothpaste. Um, I went ahead to I went to the dollar spot in the um, dollar store and I picked out a toothpaste that had a toothbrush because she's probably not going this to pull is, these out and tough. use them. You talked you talk to you earlier. Speak to Monty. You'll just have to take a message and I'll call him back. Or he's calling about his da daughter's um, arrangement for the college. Just tell him I'm on the line and take the order or I'll call him right back. So I'm gonna take my little toothbrush and I am going to tape it to a skewer. Um, Chastity Hamilton Bradham says to hang it upside down. Um, and Chris Fry says just hang it upside down. Status is a wonderful dried flower that actually holds its color and he's located in Iowa. Awesome, awesome. Yes, I will try that, why not? Well, this is not going to stick. That's not going to do um, good. Marguerite Cuso said, add dentures with a bunch of smiles. Wouldn't Back that be cases. funny? Yes, that would be funny. Christian Weaver says, way to go, Micah. Right? How fun is that? He's excited. Um, on YouTube, Christina says, I love the personal touch of dentist items. Isn't that fun? That was her suggestion. And I said, I would love to do that. <laughs> we would love to add some toothpaste and toothbrush. Okay, and I just took some of that packing tape and I just taped it right to that skewer. So now I'm gonna slide my flowers back over so you can see them. We're just gonna tuck our little pieces right down in. And I took that little um, scope and I tucked it in. And a little toothbrush. Whoop. Can you even see it? Miss Marianne says this is such a cute idea for dental retirement arrangements. Okay, so this guy is heavy, so I'm going to cut him short. Isn't this fun? This is a cute idea. I was so thankful that um, she had such a cute idea. That was fun. I like it when they come up with cute, fun ways to make it personalized. And this is something we haven't, we've actually sent this sweet little lady um, three or four different arrangements. I think this is her third. So it's fun that this one's so different. Okay, so I tucked, this is the um, dental floss and then the scope and then a toothbrush and I've got the toothpaste kind of tucked deep over here. I may rearrange it just a little. Linda Sanders Mason's calling about splitting a, an order. How about what? Splitting an order that she placed with. I'll have to call her back, Owen. I'm in the middle of a video, darling. I can't stop and take orders. <laughs> Camille Aldridge says, absolutely love it. Is that fun? Call back in maybe about 35 or 40 minutes. All right, so I'm going to take and put a bow here because my toothpaste is leaning a little bit. <laughs> so I'm going to grab a little ribbon. What color, Victoria? Should we go neutral? Or red? Oh, I bet some of the, the pretty neutral green would be pretty. You want a neutral green? You think that? Oh, what do you think? Or even that purple would be pretty. Um, Jill Hughes says the roses are beautiful. What's the name of them? I am not exactly sure. Is it iguana? That sounds familiar, but I'm not positive that it's iguana. Um, she said it may be iguana, but she's not sure. <laughs> but You're I'm just not a little positive. Far away. Yeah, I'm sorry. It may be iguana, but now I'm not positive. I'll have to um, I'll have to look it up. Okay, I'm wondering this pretty green clover green on royal burlap or should we pull the purple which is lavender faux du peony we're going to tie a little bit of bow mm -hmm. and see how we like it uh, miss bernie strewell asks who is this for it's fabulous this is for a sweet little lady that's retiring from a dental office do you like that victoria is that okay like or it. would you prefer the green Green's really neutral. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. The purple stands up. out. Okay, really. let's do purple. 
Um, on YouTube, Jacob Alvarado says, Hello, after, Jacob. <laughs> after watching on YouTube for a few months, this is my first live. Hello from New Mexico. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. So glad that you are here with us. And I tell you, if you like live videos, um, we usually try, and of course today would be the day that it's not our normal hour, but we usually try to go live here on YouTube on Mon um, not Mondays, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We try to do that um, at four o'clock in the afternoon, Central Standard Time. But if you like live videos, we go live on Facebook every single day, usually three o'clock hour. Um, but on Tuesdays and Thursdays, it's always at, um, we do it at four. Okay, I just tied us a little loopy bow. If we don't like it, we can pull it out. Yeah, they like the purple. You like the purple? Mm -hmm. This is leaning, which kind of drives me crazy. It's heavy. So I am actually just taking one of these skewers and I just attach my bow to the skewer and I cut it. Rhea Norman says if you did a red, white, and blue striped, it would look like toothpaste. It would, it would. <laughs> it might be fun. Okay, there is our lavender bow just kind of tucked over in there for fun. Um, and just a little different than what we've done for all the other arrangements, which is nice to do, be different. Um, Christina on YouTube says, maybe you said this earlier, sorry if you did. Where did you go to flower school? I've been thinking about going myself. So I went here, right here at the um, college here in our town. It's um, Mississippi State University. Um, and I actually got a bachelor's degree in it, well, my degree was called, and I don't know what it's called now, um, but it was Retail Floristry Management. And so it had a lot to do with design. Um, we did a lot of art. We did a lot of business. Um, and then we did um, different flower shop management courses. So it had a lot to do with horticulture, too, because it's um, we did a lot of plant um, design and plant horticulture and all the things on growing plants too, which was never my goal in life was to, I never wanted to necessarily grow things because that's a lot of hard work. If you ever thought floral design was hard, growing things is way harder to me. The thought of having a flower farm kind of makes my, my heart <laughs> scared to death because you have to depend on so much of the weather and the light and all the things. Um, lots of science goes into um, growing things, not so much in designing them. Um, but I did go to school here locally at, at our um, local university. Um, Cheryl Williams says, my first time watching, and you have been very informative. She's on YouTube. Well, I'm so glad you're here, my friend. Thank you for watching. Um, Dawn Miller says, this arrangement is so clever, adorable for someone who works at a dentist's office. Is that kind of fun, Dawn? It's a little different, isn't it? Yep, they're loving it. They say you do a good job. Thanks, guys. Thank you, thank you. Miss Shirley Seagrass Ooh. says, live but late. I'm anxious to see it. Hello, Miss Shirley. Thank you for being here. All right. Well, I think it's done. Again, the flowers that we chose to use, and I'm going to have to try to dry status. I'm going I'm to try that. Um, we used blue delphinium as a line flower, the Oregon disc buds, which is a mom, a pretty purple or plum colored mom, purple status, or it, and sometimes it's called seafoam status, but it's just a pretty purple status. Some mini green hydrangeas, and I want to say these are iguana. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. It's just a coral colored. It's really a tipped rose, so it's a two-toned rose with an ivory um, base. And then, of course, we added all of our fun little dental things in it for a dental retirement. Guys, thank you so much. And the greenery we chose is Israeli Ruscus. Um, we did let and did, we did parfi. How do you say that? Parvifolia. Parvifolia. I'm never going to say that correctly because <laughs> I've said it wrong so many times. Um, eucalyptus, which is so pretty. It's some of my favorite. 
Um, thank y'all for being here with us today, and thank you for being patient and always kind when we um, have to throw a kink in things. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful Tuesday, and we will be back tomorrow on Facebook, usually in the 3 o'clock hour. We um, have so much prepping to do for Valentine's Day. We may prep for Valentine's Day. I'm not exactly what we'll do, but it'll be something. Um, if you have any questions about how we do things here at the flower shop, we are so happy for you to ask. We are happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, you can drop that either here in the comments or you can send us a message right over on Facebook. We're happy to answer those questions. Do me a great big favor over here on Facebook. If you are watching this video and you don't see that little live button right up there, it means you are watching on replay. If you'd put hashtag replay for me in the comments, I'd love that. And if you haven't told us hello and where you're from, we'd love to know that too. Um, guys, I hope you have a great evening and we will see